It is difficult to parse U.S. President Donald Trump's exact foreign policy because it seems to run counter both to the media narrative and long-established American policy in the Middle East, says Don DeBar, an American journalist and political analyst. DeBar made the remarks in an interview with Press TV while commenting on Trump's foreign policy on different countries in the Middle East region. It is difficult to parse exactly what Trump's foreign policy is going to end up looking like. First, there is a tremendous amount of constraint placed on him. The media narrative about Russia that he is a puppet of Putin and all of that a constant narrative, it's like a carpet bombing every day through the media here, DeBar said. That is a political problem that constrains at least his ability to convey through the media what is actually happening. I suspect, in that area, for example, more will go on in the back room than in the front room until the policies are actually materialized, until they're actualized and then the people see oh, guess what, it's not so bad to not have a war with Russia then Yao will be able to discuss it his actual policies, he stated. Likewise, with the Middle East. What was called a Muslim ban for example actually was an increased level of scrutiny on bans that already existed. A list, as a matter of fact, Iran was one of the first on a list created by Carter in 19,791,980, the analyst noted. There has been this treatment of people from Muslim countries, and other places as well, by the way, very particularly third world countries by the United States where they treat people with a great deal of discrimination, he said, the policy of a great deal of favoritism arms sales, for example, to the Saudis horrible, not novel though the same thing happened last year with Obama. And that's the apparent it's material to the extent that there are arms sales, DeBar said, but we're seeing some different things happen on the ground such as what is just happening around Yemen now and what is happening in Syria over the last months, where although the United States is bashing Iran publicly and embracing the Saudis publicly, the Saudis are not acting with impunity in Yemen the way they were before Trump took office, the journalist said. As a matter of fact, the United States actually bombed some al-Qaeda people in Yemen who were acting before as the Saudis' proxies on the ground, he added. My point is that there's the apparent which looks bad, but also possibly there is a real material policy that is going on that cannot be presented because it runs counter both to the media narrative and the long-established American policy in that area and also some of the things that he said to get elected, the commentator concluded.